but this time it's quite special because I've been manifesting to partner up with this brand since early last year or late 2020 I think and finally like I was able to partner up with them this haul was not sponsored or paid it was more of really just the clothes and I just really wanted to share them with you without further ado it's actually Pomelo and Love Bonito if you guys have been browsing their brand their site you would know that their pieces very much align with my personal style which is so 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 important to me it's less affordable compared to the typical shoppy hauls and stuff but then these pieces like you really get what you pay for in a budget type of context yes like affordability differs but then when it comes to the quality like i swear this is considered affordable so anyways as usual my body measurements and product links are in the description box and without further ado let us begin so first is this white a-line dress now they have this in light purple also i believe and i actually really like it like i know it's so simple and like would you think that it would be this price that price but then honestly the quality is so good it cinches your waist perfectly but at the same time your lower belly doesn't mark like especially if you're bloated because for me i get bloated really really easily and so like it's always been a problem like my lower belly like even if my abs are slightly seen like my lower belly has always been a problem it's always so bloated but with this dress, even if the waist is really cinched, it doesn't show my lower belly, which I super love. And I also really like the neckline because it's able to highlight my collarbones and slightly like a little bit of cleavage, like nothing too showy, but just like a decent amount, which I love. The fabric's also really good because even if it's white, it's barely transparent or see-through. Like I tried wearing a black bra with it and it's still fine. The only thing is with this neckline, you can't wear a normal bra, like a bra with straps because it's going to be seen. For the sizing, I honestly had a bit of a problem because it was exact on my waist, exact on my bust, but then the shoulder part, like I don't know if I'm just like too small or something, but I think the shoulders were a bit too wide that I had to have it lessened or else it's going to keep falling. So yeah, I had it altered and then now like it fits my shoulders nicely. The sleeves don't drop or fall anymore, which is good. And also at the same time, I had the length lessened because I am 5 feet tall only so it doesn't hit my knees directly with like an awkward length and all but if you're much taller this would look so 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 cute like a cute mini dress the next is a favorite of mine i actually got this last year but i just really like this that i had to share it i think wait let me let me let me let me button so this is how the dress looks like. It's like a blazer dress with a really nice cut out by the waist. So as you obviously know, the waist is the smallest part of your torso. So I think this is a really flattering cut out together with the v-neck in the middle. And I also like how the neckline isn't too low. So it equally balances the cut out. Like it's nothing too revealing. I also love how the shoulders are slightly padded. So it adds structure to the dress. From what I remember, I also had the length shortened a bit. Because you know, I'm so small. Cause it's so usually when it comes to dresses, skirts, short even pants i always get them altered like chopped off i'm very particular with length but then there if you're taller than me then good for you you can wear this as a dress but then you can also add an inner top for this and then have the buttons opened up for the top part just so that it looks like a blazer plus a skirt and then you're wearing just like an inner top something like this so it's like opened and then the skirt and then you have this like inner top inside so next is one of my favorite pieces which i know will last me until maybe i'm 40 or 50 unless i change significantly in size but it is this oversized blazer so since it's oversized definitely there's still a lot of room for extra weight but i just really really love this i got this in the size small i think it's so classic and super super timeless i definitely believe that a black blazer is what everyone needs in their closet at least one of them it's definitely a wardrobe must have whether you're like working in an office or not like i think this is so 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 important i know some of you are not used to like a double breasted design but i still really like it and also the buttons are in black anyway so it's still very minimal nothing too flashy the shoulders are also padded which i really love because it adds structure to it which is so so important for an 
an oversized piece so that it doesn't bring you down like the item doesn't bring you down and I'm pretty sure if you buy something like this from Zara it would be like a thousand or two thousand pesos more next is another blazer from Pomelo as well I haven't even removed the tag laws and for this specific piece I got it in extra small the shoulders are padded as usual which as you know I love then it's not double breasted but there are still two buttons and then there are also pockets over here and a pocket design over here. Just a design, but it's not an actual pocket. I really like the shade of purple. It's very light on the eyes, but they have this in other colors as well. Actually, you know what? They have a lot of blazers. Like, if you guys are looking for blazers, whether it's oversized, whether it's double-breasted or not, whether the color is long or not, like I swear, they have a lot of different styles of blazers, and they have it in different colors as well. Like, not just like black or pink or purple, but they also have it in like green and blue and yellow and cream and beige like i swear they have the widest collection of blazers that are affordable yet also good quality so if you're looking for any blazers i swear pomelo is the way to go so for the next one it is a love bonito piece which i already have in two colors and it looks like i'm going to order the black one as well i've been washed and wearing this white one like i freaking swear like it has appeared on my ig reels on my tiktok so many times i've worn it out even like without filming anything I just really, really, and bah, I'll just let it fall. I think it's very flattering. Definitely, this is not for the conservative, but it's also like a good inner top. Like honestly, I wanted to wear it with this outfit, but then I've been wearing it so much. Actually, hindi ko pa nga siya napapalaban because I really had to film this video. But then that's how much I love this top, and I also have it in nude as well. The thing that I don't like about this is one time I did a TikTok, and then my sweat like it marked here like by the armpits so i don't recommend this if you guys are the type to be sweaty on the armpits like me uh, but anyways you can still get it in white or even in black i think it would look really good and i know some of you will think like why would i pay that much for a cropped camisole tank top type of thing when it's barely any fabric but guys i swear the quality is just top tier it beats any zara tube top or whatever that you see on shopee like this is definitely the best tube top slash camisole top that i own it's just so good and you know it's flattering because of the way it's cropped and at the same time the straps are so good it's not just like you know what let me show you a sample so this is one of my Zara tops that have a similar style and look at this quality I know it's very stretchable and stuff so it doesn't really matter if you get the wrong size but the straps I don't know they look kind of cheap for me and they're not even the exact same shade or color but then for this one they even use the same fabric if I'm not mistaken and for this one you really have to get the right size because if you don't then it's not that stretchable you won't be able to breathe so for me I got it in size small in this video I'm not wearing a bra I'm just wearing a nipple tape but if I do wear a bra then it's super exact on me like almost too tight but then just right also so i guess just estimate it from there so next is a skirt recommendation now this is my first tweed maxi skirt it's supposed to be a midi skirt but since i'm small it's a maxi skirt the thing with love bonito is i think their models are like five seven or something so their midi stuff or like bottoms that are supposed to be by the knee or near the knee it ends up being a maxi thing for me like near the ankle so usually i really get my clothes altered when it comes to love bonito bottoms or dresses but i still really like this so it's just a plain cream tweed skirt with a front slit in the middle which i love i think it's really unique and whenever an item fits my personal style and at the same time is very unique, that's automatically like a grab for me. And I don't know about you, but tweeds always look so expensive. Well, they are more expensive. Like I bet if this were in Zara, this would cost around 4000 But because it's in Love Bonito, it's like half the price. Next, I have this classic white denim jacket that's slightly cropped. I don't know how it looks on camera because when I was filming the try-on, like I noticed how it was reflecting like a lot of like blue undertones to it. In Pomelo's website, I think the shade of this is like a neutral white, but then in reality, it actually like has a blue tone to it. Like, you know, when a white is super, super clean, that it's more on leaning towards the blue tone than the cream off-white tone. But yeah, I think this is also another classic piece in my wardrobe. So last but not the least, clothing piece, because I still have bags over there, but it is this beautiful white crochet lace dress. Now, normally, I'm not into lace pieces just because I think they look 
cheap to me. I don't know, but maybe that's just me. And they remind me of like tablecloths and curtains and all. But then this one, like, I don't know. I just really liked it. I liked how there's also a fabric inside. So it's not like see-through or anything. It still looks classy. And the lace just looks like another design. It looks like a very minimal printed design. But it's actually like lace and all. I also love the neckline. It's very flattering. And I think it's a perfect dress for dates, for weddings, for maybe even baptisms if you're not that busty. That's the thing about busty people. Like you have to be more careful about the clothes that you wear. Especially when it's supposed to be a conservative event. But I bet if you're flat chested, this is a dress that you can get away with. And in case you want to cover it up, I recommend wearing something crop. Like a crop jacket, denim jacket, or a crop blazer. Just so that it still highlights your waist since it's quite a liney. So if you wear a jacket that's not cropped, you might look a little more bulky than you actually are. Not that it's a bad thing, but I personally think that it's not so flattering. So now we are moving on to the bags. So first we have this nude ruched bag. So I know it kind of looks gross. I just realized it kind of looks like an intestine, but it's still really cute for me. I love how it's very unique. The texture is a bit too much, but then at least it's in a neutral color. So it's not that flashy, I guess. They also have this in black. I also love how there's like a cardboard underneath. So as you can see, it can stand on its own on my palm. It has an open pocket pocket and a zippered pocket and a zipper closure in gold and also it's more of a handbag than a shoulder bag because if I make it into a shoulder bag it's literally like almost sticking in my armpit which is kind of gross for me so I'd rather hold it as a handbag but over here I have a shoulder bag so the strap is much longer they also have this in like a cream shade I think very similar to this type of white and also it's good quality leather it can stand on its own as you can see even the strap is very structured but it has a snap closure and then when you open it there's still a zipper inside so it's very secure if you're going to crowded places and then we also have a longer strap in case you want to make it into a sling bag so it's very useful and then some papers but it can still stand on its own as you can see does it have any pockets yes but just a zipper pocket which I still like appreciate anyway, but there. So that is it for today's haul. I hope you guys liked something. Let me know if you guys want more Pomelo X Love Bonito hauls because I really, really love their pieces. I think that I'll be able to wear them for such a long period of time. I know it's not as affordable, but you really pay for the quality, like I swear. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye!